Sit back and throw one back with your pinky in the air and a middle finger to the world. And join me, the eclectic gentleman, Stephen Watts, as we look back on this day in pro wrestling history. But before we do, put that drink down, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is December 22nd. And we're going to start off as we always do on a positive note. That's right. These are your pro wrestling birthdays. 1982, the luchador known as Carlistico. 1983, he's a good brother, it's Luke Gallows. Of course, on the flip side of that coin, your pro wrestling deaths for December 22nd. 1958, Frank Tarzan Hewitt. All right, enough of the sad stuff. It's time to get to the meat and potatoes. That's right. These are your pro wrestling history highlights for December 22nd. Jumping in the Wayback Machine and going all the way to 1917, where we see Waldeck Zabisco defeat Ed Strangler Lewis in a tournament final to stake his unrightful claim to the World Heavyweight Championship in New York City. He would lose to the rightful champion Earl Caddick on February 8, 1917. 18 in Des Moines, Iowa. Hitting super fast forward and going to 1941, Wild Redberry defeats Billy Varga to win the NWA World Light Heavyweight title in Hollywood, California, beginning his fourth reign. A nine-year jump to 1950, Frank Stojak defeats Leo Wallach in Tacoma, Washington to win the Pacific Northwest Junior Heavyweight title for a third time. Four years later in 1954, Ricky Dozen becomes the first and only Japanese heavyweight champion in Tokyo, Japan, by defeating Masahiko Kimura. The title would be abandoned on August 27, 1958, when Ricky Dozen defeats Luthez for the NWA International Heavyweight title in Los Angeles, California. Two years later in 1956, Enrique Torres and Ron Etcherson defeat Ben and Mike Sharp for the San Francisco version of the NWA World Tag Team titles in Fresno, California, ending the Sharps' 12th reign. Our final stop in the 50s, 1959. The Red Raider, a.k.a. Pedro Godoy, defeats Ray Vilmer to win the Florida version of the NWA Southern Heavyweight title in Tampa, Florida, ending Vilmer's second reign. Grooving into the year 1960, Bill Monroe defeats Mike Clancy for the NWA Southern Junior Heavyweight title in Chattanooga, Tennessee. A nine-year leap to 1969, Mr. Saito defeats Dale Lewis to win the Florida Heavyweight title in Tampa, Florida. Grabbing my bell bottoms and disco ducking it to the year 1970, Tarzan Tyler defeats Dusty Rhodes for the Florida Brass Knuckles title in Tampa, Florida. Two years later, Tarzan Taylor wins a tournament to win the vacant Florida Brass Knuckles title in Tampa, Florida. The title had been stripped from champion Dusty Rhodes for his violence towards NWA president Sam Mushnick. Grabbing my boombox and going to 1980, Bill Dundee and Tommy Rich defeat Guy Mitchell and Roger Kirby for the AWA Southern Tag Team titles in Memphis, Tennessee. Four years later in 1984, Tony St. Clair wins a tournament to become the first Catch Wrestling Association World Middleweight Champion in Bremen, Germany. Grabbing my flannel and going to the decade of grunge, 1990. Bull Power defeats Otto Wands to win the Catch Wrestling Association World Heavyweight title, ending Wands' fourth reign and beginning Power's third. That next year in 1991, Ricky Rice defeats the Lightning Kid, a.k.a. Sean Waltman, for the Pro Wrestling America's light heavyweight title in Minneapolis, Minnesota, ending the Kid's second reign. Fast-forwarding five years to 1996, Buddy Wayne defeats Bart Sawyer to win the Championship Wrestling USA Television title in Vancouver, Washington, beginning and ending each man's fourth reign. And last but not least, and primarily because I was at that show, 1998, New Jersey Devil defeats Fumar for the House of Pain Wrestling Federation Cruiserweight title in Hagerstown, Maryland. Those were your short but sweet pro wrestling history highlights for December 22nd. I'm the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and we'll see you tomorrow.